All right, welcome back, everybody. Pick my shoulders, Facebook Live. As always, most of the time, Rex Kehoe alongside Patrick Crowley. Very, very festive today. Yeah, Aloha Fridays. <laughs> Shout out Phil Trapp. <laughs> the one day you wear yours, I did not wear mine. One day, man. One day. All right, very fun topic today. I believe we are talking about S Rex. Um, as always, ask us anything. Write us a comment. Shoot us an email. Give us a call. We'll answer it all for you. So today, yes, we are talking about SREX, specifically in New Jersey. You know, we'll, we'll get into the, to the details of them, but you know, there's a, several markets that have SREX. New Jersey is one of them. You got Massachusetts. DC. DC. Pennsylvania. Illinois. Illinois Ohio, yep. Maryland. Oh, there's, okay. Yeah. yeah, there's quite a few. I like the, the, the original 13 colonies, it almost seems like. <laughs> Those are the states that really rock it. <laughs> So yes, we will be going over New Jersey specifically in our deep dive number 79. Let's do it. Okay. First off, what is what does SREC stand for? Solar Renewable Energy Certificate. The certificate always got me. I used to, yeah. always used to think it was credit. It is certificate. Same thing. Same thing. Actually, not really, because it isn't a credit. It is something you do exchange. That's true. So, um, yeah, I guess primarily where SRECs come from when you think about, you know, why am I getting this? cash for my solar system, which we'll dive into, mm -hmm. is renewable port sta renewable portfolio standard or an RPS. Yep. Basically what that is, New Jersey in this case decided that they want a certain percentage of their energy, 5.1% uh, of their energy from solar in 2021, and they want to get to 50 total awesome. from renewables in 2030. Which is, you know, we're seeing between 2030, 2040, 50% in a lot of states. Right. Um, that's kind of the, the benchmark, I think California is probably the most aggressive with 100%, sure. I think, by 2040. Yep. So. Uh, but in any case, you have this renewable portfolio standard. You need to get to 50% renewables in 11 years. Got to incentivize some people. How are you going to do it? <laughs> How are you going to do it? And so right. primarily where the SRECs come into play is New Jersey is telling the utilities or the power generators that part of their percentage, I'm not sure if it's a direct one-to-one, 50% -one, from these people, needs to be renewables. And so they have the option, build a massive solar, wind, farm, something of right. to that like, or pay a residential homeowner, or in some cases commercial and small utility scale sure. um, generators, cash for the right to own that production and count it towards their portfolio. Yep. So this is entirely after your solar savings, your net meter. You it's net an meter. added bonus, right. huge bonus. So you have right. your whole solar savings, you know, you're going to be in the green just with that. And then New Jersey is saying, I want to, you know, get the credit for the solar you are producing. It yep. does not affect the fact that you own the system, your home's value. You're getting the federal tax sit, credit. You, none of that changes. Right. So when you talk about, you're not losing your solar. They are just getting that certificate. Just want to put their name on it, essentially. So right. It counts towards the portfolio. Yeah. It's like the person in the group project who doesn't do any work that puts <laughs> their name on it. That's kind of what it's like. Well, in this case, it, but it, it benefits everybody. benefits yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess those, those people don't really make your grade better. So. so, yeah. So, here we go. So, solar renewable energy certificates. Patrick was correct on that. Um, so, these are given to the homeowners for every megawatt hour, or me, yeah, megawatt hour of solar generated. Yeah, you probably the average system, probably right. eight to twelve of these a year, you know. Six. Well, it's for for six extra X a year. That's for six thousand kilowatt hours. Yeah, okay. We see people climbing up towards that ten. But yeah, sure. it's relative to what you produce. For sure. And this so, isn't your system size either. It's not your that's kilowatts. True. That's kilowatt true. Kilowatt hours produced. Typically, larger system will have more, but depending on how your roof is oriented, exactly. You want to look at what is the system producing, and then for each uh, megawatt hour that is produced. What's the value? I'm actually not sure what it is because it fluctuates. It's a market. But you know, in this example, at least, we got $200 per right. like the, the New Jersey market fluctuates a little bit above and maybe a little bit below that, that mm -hmm. 200 over the last few years. It's been relatively stable as sure. far as SREC markets go. Um, and yeah, you, you need to obtain that full megawatt hour. You can't give them you know, 500 right. kilowatt hours. You need right. that full. And then you get your SREC. You can exchange it, you can work up front with a broker, right. you can play the market, you can do whatever you want, and that market can't fluctuate, so there is some value to the locked rate for the broker. Right. Um, and yet, yeah, in, in New Jersey, it's a 10-year term. So for 10 years, you can produce and sell those SRECs. I believe their usable life is three years. 
meaning once you get it, you have to you cash in, cash in right. within three years right. so you can play the market for some time, but not infinite. And I'd have to check on that three years. Mm -hmm. We'll throw that in the, throw in the, in comments. the comments. Yeah. But I mean, just looking at Where this just example, this is this is pretty significant. I mean, two hundred dollars per S rec average. You're getting six. Uh, six of those per year, mm -hmm. twelve hundred a year, and you said it's for ten years. That's twelve thousand yeah. dollars. So, and again, that's on top of your solar savings. You're paying less less for solar energy as you are to the utility. You're getting the federal tax credit. This is just kind of an added bonus. The way that I like to look at this is, you know, if you if you you like to see a loan payment that is less than sure. your current utility payments. That's what we call day one savings. That's where solar, I think, really starts to make sense for yep. your average homeowner. And when you look at, you get day one savings in most cases in New Jersey, then what I like to look at is <laughs> that loan payment against what you can expect roughly to get per month, and it's not going to work exactly month to month. Right. But let's say, you know, in this case, your loan payment, if, for the sake of argument, sure. your loan payment's $100 a month. You have entirely paid off your loan just right. for tax. That's amazing. You know, yeah. and that's, you know, it's, that's an oversimplification of it. Sure. Usually you're not going to be able to do that. It's, you're going to have still a little bit of a delta there. Right. But, Let's remember, you're already saving on your energy right. bills to begin with. So it's an it, added, yeah, huge added on quite a bit. Ooh, a question. question. How do these transfer to a new homeowner if the home is sold? That's a great question. It sure is, Kyle C. <laughs> That's a great question. Um, it's going to depend, actually. I think it's so, market variable, and I don't know about New Jersey. It's definitely going to depend on if you are playing the market, if you are using a loan product, um, or or if you're using a, just kind of a broker. So that, right. that is a great question. We are going to have to look into that. Yeah. We'll have to get back. And it, it is, to, to Rex's point about the broker, there are some options where you can sell your SREX to a broker entirely up front. Sure. So you don't you're want to play the market. You're just getting cost. Oh, yeah. In this case, you know, $12,000, if you play the market, you might get five or $6,000, but you'd get it as soon as you right. were and interconnected. If, in that scenario, the homeowner, of course, would get nothing. The right. homeowner. Right. That's a great question. We, I, I would think... The system is still there, you know, if the homeowner's occupying that home, I would think they would still be subject to those benefits, but we, we gotta look into that. Yeah, Absolutely. it would probably depend on the SREC contract too. You know, if you if that if the if the SREC is tied to mm -hmm. the home or the person. Right. You know, I could see it going either way. Yeah. And, but I am not quite sure. We'll have to look into it. it. Might be the first time we've been stumped. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle C. <laughs> Good question though. No, uh, well, that is for sure. So again we've we've kinda got ahead of ourselves as we typically do. Uh, but yeah, 1,000 kilowatt hours or megawatt hour, that equals one SREC or approximately $200, at least today's market. Um, and like Patrick said, you can trade the SRECs like stocks on the stock market or get the fixed upfront payment, but you know, you're going to miss out um, you know, in kind of the long term what you could have gotten from yeah. that. So program ends around 2021. Yeah. And this is, I mean, obviously there's, this is kind of the perfect storm for incentives in New Jersey with the federal tax credit stepping down, yep. uh, you know, probably will pass the deadline for this year to get into that full 30%. The time is now. It sure would be. <laughs> One thing I will note about the SREX, um, I believe we're still in SREC 1 in mm -hmm. New Jersey. What we saw with the most mature SREC market in Massachusetts, they went from SREC 1 to SREC 2, and now they're on something called the SMART program, right. which some people even think is better than SREC 2. SREC right. 1 was amazing, but sure. uh, there's, it, again, it, it all ties back to that renewable portfolio standard. If the state and the utilities commissions want to incentivize it, so. Right. Nothing is set in stone. Hopefully, right. th there will be something else that comes on, but you know, as of now, there, there's nothing on the horizon. Right. And I guess we were going to, we were gonna, let's see here. So we were gonna talk about um, Potentially oversizing the mm. solar system. So we get that question a lot in that's SREC true. markets. So someone may be thinking, okay, well, I'm getting all these SRECs. Let's just get a, you know, let's put as many solar panels as I can on that roof and let's cash in. Cash in. You can't really do that in New Jersey, unfortunately. It's not even a can't really do that. <laughs> it's it's like a you can't do that. You so absolutely can't do as that. As a result of this program, uh, New Jersey has a very, very strict cap on system sizing. So you cannot size your system to produce more than what you have previously used in your, or you, you've used in your previous 12 months. Right. Point being there is they want to make sure that at the end of the day, you're getting solar to offset your current needs and that this is a bonus. Right. That you're not 
churning out a solar production <laughs> cash farm. Exactly. And they're very strict on it. So we, we to, did have a... To the kilowatt. Right. We had a customer, uh, we had sized their system in, I believe it was July. We sized it to 100%. By the time it got over to the utility for the interconnection, it was, I believe, September, maybe maybe August. And they had a lower bill that, that last month before that ended up causing yeah. their uses to go down just a little bit from the 12 month when we ran the analysis, they would not approve it. Yeah. So only had to knock off a couple panels, but it does show yeah. they are not messing around. It's 100% and no more. Yeah, the lesson there is if you're about to go solar in New Jersey, crank your AC. Well, it's, I don't about that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, so they are strict, um, but yeah, just something to keep in mind there. I think that's about it for this topic. So Kyle C is very oh, curious he is today. Just coming on this again. This is another tough question. Do you guys think the new Democratic governor in New Jersey will try to extend these incentives beyond 2021? Not very pol political, um, but if it's been there before, yeah. I mean, I would imagine that there's a good chance that something new will come out, something similar to this. Yeah. But I, I'm not one to speculate. I think that we're going to see a lot of potential state incentives if the federal incentives go away. Mm -hmm. You're going to see more of those in bluer states than That's you will true. in red states. Sure. I suspect a lot of the action on that will start to come to fruition after the conclusion of our next presidential election because you will have all of 2021 where you still have some federal tax credit. Right. That is pure conjecture. I sure. do not have <laughs> That's just my you, gut you've feeling. You've been right on. before. You've had some good predictions before. Yeah, once so. or twice. Once or twice. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is it. As always, Pick My Solar, we are an online managed marketplace. Mm. Come to us. We will do a size and design assistant for you. We'll run an analysis free of charge, see if solar makes sense for you. And then, of course, we have a network of highly qualified installers that would